The Australia-China Business Council continued to play a proactive role in building a closer relationship between Australia and China. We moved from the Year of the Dragon to the Year of the Snake. Last September, we celebrated the 63rd anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. Clearly Western Australia has been and will continue to be at the forefront of Australia's Asia strategy. I find it extraordinary to think that in my lifetime that relationship not only has been normalised uh, under the Whitlam years and we've seen the two-way trade grow from less than $100 million uh, through to over $100 billion now largely driven out of Western Australia. This year, even more than ever, the eyes of the world are on China and we are willing and encouraging the new leadership in their quest to continue to transform their nation through commerce. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen happy, happy Chinese, Chinese New Year. Year. There's a fire starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch and bring me out of the dark. Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Go ahead and sell me out and I'll let you shoot me. We were honoured to host the third Australian-China Economic Trade Forum for the visit of Prime Minister Gillard and the most senior delegation of Australian political leaders to visit China. We know a rapidly urbanising nation like China finds a welcome friend in a nation like Australia, rich in coal and iron ore. There is clear potential for expanded Chinese investment in Australia and I am confident that this will continue to grow. China's economy has been based on a model of export-led growth. But as we know, under the 12th five-year plan, the aspiration is, is to spread the benefits of growth through to the West and to rely more on consumption as a driver of growth. The Honourable Gary Gray launched our third annual survey of the benefits to Australian households from trade and investment with China. We continue to lead the way in promoting public discussion about Australia's relationship with our largest trading partner. We engaged in regular media commentary and articles in order to bring balance to the media debate around Chinese trade and investment with Australia. We launched a program of regionalisation, establishing committees in the Midwest region and the Southwest region. It's the size of China, but we've got 23 million people, so you can imagine what, what they want to do. They come over at the moment they're brought into the ord. They, they're just looking for water, they're looking for food. But the main thing is they want to work with us instead of against us, and I think that's really important. We dined with giants and enjoyed seeing the two national teams clash across four great games, two held in Perth and two in China. We again heard from leading academics. The best way to conceptualize China is to not look at it as one country but three countries. The first country in China is the tier one provinces, but it has only 4%, 52 million people. Now the part of foreigners who go to China tend to see this tier one and tier two. But there is actually a huge China. It is all the other provinces. 850 million people equal to whole of US and Europe combined. Our success this year again reflected the dedication and hard work of our executive committee and the invaluable support of our sponsors. Thank you again to all our sponsors.